I watch another habit, you know. Um, as Jamaican, we have been, matter of fact, it's a black people. We have been cultured to think that it's more important for buy clothes and shoes for we youth rather than do anything significant for education or otherwise towards the youth. See, you can see a little baby in the dearest sneakers, biggest name brand clothes. But when it comes to having or giving that child anything significant in the youth life, be your clothes and shoes. And skip from youth now. We grew up with the same mentality. See, same youth, we teach them say clothes and shoes matter more than anything else. And them grow up with that mentality there. Everybody will do anything to get a pair of shoes. But they don't do anything for start a business. They don't do anything for invest. They don't do anything for, for do anything significant as it relates to upliftment and growth in their life. The clothes and shoes mentality. You see, fashion slavery, it has ruined the black race. It's a form of low self-esteem. Fashion slavery is low self-esteem. Because guess what? You don't look good without them brand. You don't look good without them clothes. Away. Somebody tell you, say, I wear. You, you, you don't feel validated. You're empty without the brand. You're empty without somebody looking and saying, look at him. You know. And the dumbest thing, someone who is slave by fashion, I'm telling you something. No, no. See? I'm telling you right quick. You swear you buy all one shoes in 2000 US? No one cares. I tell me, I tell you, if you're going to one dance, you could do the maths. 90% of that dance, they don't know the shoes that you're in. And the 10% when you know the shoes where you're in. No business with you. Because they can buy the shoes too. So, if you do the maths, that was not a proper investment. Think about it. You buy a shoes for 2,000 US. But you wouldn't start a business for 100,000 Jamaica. And you know the worst part of when you do enough time? Your friend will do something you're not supporting him because you know what? You don't want him to reach on a level. You, you account where you make. You account where you make about for me. See? And you, you put on him thing and you don't support him. See? And that is why the black community in general in the position we're in. We don't support enough black owned business. I will complain, and we say who this, and I will find every fault with the black man business when him started. But you never ever hear no 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 complain about the white man business. You just go buy it. That's it. You no know, make no, 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 no complain. You know why? The TV tell you said this is good and this is the brand you should wear. And just go wear it. But when the black man come with film business, when your friend come with film business, small business and otherwise, only not support it because only start all of a sudden you just get conscious. Is the material good? It doesn't have adequate fabric right here. And it doesn't have and it doesn't seem to fit right into this slot, you know. Not for when you buy for you know how much money, the red body and everything. Then the word shit. Sometimes when the black man do him look at thing and him do, him do it all better than them. But guess what? The cloud of the internet and where the media tell you say it's cool. Don't surround female. Because enough of a rapper them with DJ them with this with that. Them not support black owned business either. Matter of fact, I say whole if a rapper boss so much big company in other world, they're free of cars. Tell the black man to go to some of them rapper and I want to say, yo, I may own a wine here, I may try with it in you know? I may not have the 10 million US figure, I'm young glove up. 500,000. You're not doing it, you know. You refuse the 500,000 but you bust a big wine company there, totally free. You know much of them things that I see rapper them and the artists them do back in the day? You know much money all guineas owe Jamaican dance all artists? Them do it for free. But make you say I sell some roots as a little man we come from Waterhouse or any little way and tell some artists say yo, just put this in one of your songs and just call the name or whatever. Your money have a big. So guess what them did? They come like some girl, you know. You see, poor man, she kill him with taxation. So when she get a real rich man, and the rich man say, yo, babe, where you want? No, man, all right, you know, I'm just humble, I'm just a good little girl. I'm just, you know, I'm just there, I'm all right, I don't want anything. But when she there with the poor man, she kill him. Same thing the artists them do. You know that regard eh? When the poor man try to business and check out and say, yo, just, just mention this, you know, if post this on YouTube for me, now, brother, how much you charge me? He didn't even answer the message. But the whole of them as them take up a mic, them start bust all sorts of brand and have shit for do with them because guess what? That brand they established already. So them fees so that them can't stop that brand there. So them just join them. You can't beat them, join them. So that poor man will check here, you can't stop him. So all you have to do is don't put him thing for your page or don't shout out him thing in your song. Or the same thing.